The International Space Station is crashing down into the ocean. It's a controlled, think of it as decommissioning a nuclear reactor. In 2030. But why is that the best option? Turns out the world had four options. Okay. Option one, disassemble it in space and put it in a museum. That sounds like a great plan. That is highly impractical. <laughs> at least for full disassembly. I mean, it's an interesting idea, but you're going to get radiation exposure from trying to retrieve the stuff. There's integrity issues due to long-term space weathering, and it's ultimately a waste of resources. It would be a bit like trying to reassemble a 70-year-old nuclear power plant just to make it a museum. The radiation exposure isn't worth it. Until you realize that it took almost 30 flights to get it all up there and over 100 spacewalks to put it yeah. together. And it's just as costly to do in reverse and the only spacecraft that can carry those pieces is retired. Could conceivably do it with some future heavy lift spacecraft like Starship, but I agree, it's not practical. So option two, boost it into a higher orbit where it could last longer. But that would require a lot of power and it would mean that we can't keep the crew on board because the vehicles that are meant to service the space station can't go that high. It would take a lot of fuel and ultimately the ISS it's designed for low Earth orbit, not for high orbit, and again, in a higher orbit, there'd be increased radiation exposure. That's its design limit. Plus, putting it up much higher makes it much more susceptible to being hit by orbiting debris. No, actually, low Earth orbit, you're more likely to get hit by orbiting debris. Option three, just let gravity do its thing and the ISS comes falling uncontrollably down toward Earth. That is just as bad a plan as it sounds. <laughs> Sure, decay naturally is dangerous. You want to do it in a controlled manner. Not to mention it's too massive for total burnout. Absolutely not. So the winner is option four. Let gravity pull it down a little bit and then have another spacecraft controlled guide it into a controlled descent. crash to what they say is the farthest point from any landmass. Yep, that's good. <laughs>